In this video, we'll be focusing on adding fractions. To get us started, we'll take a look at some information based on the amount of playing time LeBron James has within four games. So that information is given as follows. LeBron James participated in four games, playing a varying amount in each game. So in the first game, he played three quarters. Second game against Oklahoma, he played four quarters. Against Boston, he played one quarter. And the last game, he played two quarters. So the question is, how many quarters did he play in total? And how many full games would that correspond to? So we'll take the first part. How many quarters did he play in? That's easy to figure out. You have three plus four is seven, plus one is eight, and two is 10. So 10 quarters. But how might we represent that mathematically? So if we were to write it out, three quarters of game, three over four, in the second game he played four quarters, it's four over four, third one is one, and the last one is two quarters, that's two over four. So when adding fractions, they must have the same denominator before we can add them. Here, they all have the denominator of four, so we can just add them straight away. So 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and 2 is 10. So that's equal to 10 over 4, 10 quarters. If we were to convert that into full games, we'd write it as a mixed fraction. So to do that, we divide the denominator into the numerator. So 4 goes into 10 twice, remainder 2. So that's 2 full games and 2 quarters. If we were to break down 2 over 4 into its lowest terms, 2 over 4 is the same as 1 over 2. So what I did there is I divided 2 into the top number and 2 into the bottom number. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 4 goes twice. So 2 over 4 is the same as 1 over 2. So in total he played 2.5 full games within the 4 games he participated in. Next we'll take a look at a scenario where the information is given to us a little differently. So it's the same information but it's given a little differently. So say in the first game he played three quarters, that's the same. In the second game it says he played a full game. In the last one says he played sorry, in the third one it says he plays one quarter, and the last one said he played one half. So what we're given is three over four plus one for one full game plus one over four plus one over two. Remember we said previously, to add fractions, they must have the same denominator. Obviously here we don't have the same denominator, so we have to find a denominator that we must convert them all to. So our challenge here is to find the lowest common denominator. So that's normally referred to as the LCD, lowest common denominator. The lowest common denominator is the lowest number that each of these denominators will divide into evenly. So we have to think of a number that 4 and 2 will divide into evenly. One approach is to write out the multiples of the denominators in question, which are 2 and 4 here. So the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, and so on. And just pick out the first one, which is common. So we can see the first one, which is common, is 4. So we'll take 4 as our common denominator. So we'll convert everything into what it is over 4. So 3 over 4 just stays as 3 over 4. 1 is the same as 4 over 4. 1 over 4 stays the same. And 1 over 2 is the same as 2 over 4. So now they all have the same denominator. We can add them together as we did before to get 10 over 4, which we said was equal to 2.5. So the key thing to remember is when adding or subtracting fractions, they must all have the same denominator before you can begin adding 